supposed to get here, and this Advent wreath that Mr. Scott is going to show you reminds us that Advent takes a while. Take it over, Miss Jill! Rah! Thanks, Miss Joyce. Always so good to see you, and Mr. Rob. Hey kids, it's good to see you. So today, we're gonna start our lesson in the church. How many of you miss this place? Take a look around and remember of the days when we were together. I know I miss all of us being together. With that being said, let's continue to talk about Advent. Know why we are in church today? We're here to talk about this, our Advent wreath. It's beautiful, isn't it? When the candles are lit, it's even more beautiful. Let's talk more about the wreath. So the first thing we notice are the candles. Every year during the Advent season, we light a candle each Sunday. So on the first Sunday in Advent, we light one of the blue candles. The second week, we'll light a second, then the rose color, then the fourth blue one till they're all lit, taking us up to Christmas. The Advent wreath is a tradition that shows the passing of, a, of the four Sundays leading up to Christmas. Each Sunday when we light a candle, it's followed by a Bible reading or prayer. Once all four Sundays have passed and they're all lit, there's still one white candle in the middle. Who can tell me when this candle will be lit? Who said Christmas? You are right. The four colored ones are lit first, and then for Christmas, the white one will be lit. Advent wreaths are round, showing us God's everlasting love. Think about the circle. There's no beginning, and there's no end. Just like God's love, there's no beginning and no end. He loves us always. The wreath is usually made up of evergreen leaves, just like ours, the evergreen represents eternal life brought to us by Jesus. The candles show us the light of God coming into the world through the birth of Jesus. After all, that's what Christmas is all about, right? Someone special has a birthday on Christmas Day. Week one, as we light one candle, it means hope. The second week is peace. The third week is joy. And the fourth week is love. The white candle in the center is sometimes called Christ candle. It is on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day that it's lit. We usually light it Christmas Eve during our service. So each Sunday, I want you to pay attention to the Advent wreath. On Christmas Eve during the service, you will see the whole wreath lit and see it in all of its beauty. Oh, and when you see the vestments Father Tom will be wearing, you will see the wreath on it as well as the colors. Pay attention now. It's pretty cool how things match up perfectly. Take a look at the altar. It's draped and it's ready for Advent. Look at the colors. And you see the Advent candles in the front. I just think it's pretty cool how everything kind of goes together. But I think now, could be time for a craft. Let's head on into Sunday school. I know there's one to be made. So you all should have received this week's craft. This week we're making an ornament. Pretty cool, huh? So open them up and it's an easy one. You know stickers are my thing. Hope they're yours too. As always, remember whenever we do art, it's yours, so make it as you want. I do want you to keep in mind the lessons about Advent we have learned so far when you're doing your ornament. As you can see, I've already done mine. Make sure to send me pictures of your ornament once it's done. I can't wait to see them. And on the back, you can put your name because it says, Jesus is the miracle born for you. He saved you from sin with his life and his love Merry Christmas. So I want to see them when you're done. Next week will be our fourth and final Advent lesson. 
Let's see if I remember correctly where we left off with Mary and Joseph. Hmm. They were bedded down in a stable. Wonder what will happen next. Guess we have to wait and see until next week. So until then, remember to wear your mask, wash your hands, keep them away from your face, and say your prayers. See you next week for the fourth week in Advent. This will be a new one for everybody, so we'll try to sing along with us. Jesus, our Thank you.